days and seven seas. Ah, Swindler's Cove. Archie's <coughs> smells like we're on the right track. I was gonna say lobster sweat and burnt seaweed, but eh, I can get used to it. Blast! Yuga Musa was right. The tablet is indecipherable. We need to figure out how to translate it. Mayhaps we'll find someone to translate it here in Swindler's Cove. Don't be silly, Mr. Tobias. It's not called Translator's Cove. Ooh, that's a fancy-looking tablet you got there. A vest! Who goes there? Fire cannons! Oh, you see horses, kiddos? The name's Tuna Tony. I happen to be the foremost purveyor of exotic goods in these parts. And I can help you translate that tablet. What's in it for you? The simple satisfaction of helping a fellow booty seeker is enough to warm my barnacle heart. Continue on. We'll meet again shortly.
Have a look, see the new words, fellas. Yarm! <laughs> Top notch stuff right there, friend. Gotta Tuna Tony, say, are you half man and half tuna? I was thinking. Oh, everybody, be quiet. Something majestic approaches. Hey there, little scamps! The beard. That tablet is quite the artifact. Took it from Yuga Musa, did you? Impressive. The name's Lady Redbeard. I lead this lousy band of rogues and cell swords. When old Tony came to rat you guys out, my beard and I were delighted to hear you possess the ancient tablet. <laughs> mm, betrayal. I told
told you we should have fired cannons. I also happen to be the only one who can translate that tablet. Yuga Musa was a fool. He only wanted it as a knickknack in his swanky condo. He didn't even care about the Kraken's treasure. But mark my bearded words, that tablet will be mine! Either give it to me or perish. The choice is yours. I'll wait for you at the end of Swindler's Cove. Wait, I... I love... your beard. I love your beard! Ah, not again! Get out of my beard's face! I gotta swab the poop deck. Forget my draft, you know. <laughs> Top notch stuff right there, friend. You got a good eye.
grew up in these shanties, just a girl and her beard, alone against the wall. When I became an adult, I united all the gangs in the city. I stopped all the fighting and built a really nice old pirate's home. That's great and all, but why do you want the tablet? For the same reason you do, little scamp. Do you have any idea what I could do to Swindler's Cove if I had the Kraken's treasure? I could make it the grandest port on the Seven Seas. Um, hello? Hello? Are you guys even listening? Captain Blackhook, what's wrong? Too much fish pudding? No, no, Mr. Tobias, I'm okay. I just need to check something. Hmm, I wonder. No. No, nothing there either. Oh, what's the hold up, Jeff? I wanna blast something. Just a minute, Sumo. I'm looking to see if there's anything in the rule book that would let us share the treasure with Lady Redbeard. I'm coming up empty, guys. I guess our hands are tied. I'm sorry, Lady Redbeard, but I guess we're gonna have to fight it out. How about the winner gets the tablet? Ha! Now we're talking law of the jungle, survival of the fittest. You're a spirited little bunch. I like your style. But I'm warning you, I ain't holding back. Where are your parents? <laughs> Watch your step.
Ah, well. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. But I'm nothing if I ain't honorable. You scamps are free to go. And here, I've translated the tablet. You now know where the crack waits. But know this, if you make it to the Kraken and somehow defeat it, you'll need a key to open its treasure. Head to Whaletooth Bay, where legends say the key is guarded by another gargantuan beast. I'll never forget you, Lady Redbeard's beard. Yeah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, now get out of here, you little weirdos.